Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Edition. Hey, Hoodie. Hoodie says, let's go. Hey, Nick Draco. He says, ah, everyone's hyped. Everyone's ready for, for more Spongebob. We're leading up to the end of the game. Look, we got 56 golden spatulas. You only need 75 to get into the final area, so we're, we're getting there. So I think we left off in the kelp forest, yeah. That's really cool. I like that you can load right into the level where you were, where you started off from. A primalism. Jay plays theme starts playing and everyone chants Jay in sync. That would be amazing. Um I guess we want to talk to Barnacle Boy. Hello there, Barnacle Boy. Uh <laughs> uh hi. Um I need uh SpongeBob's help people. Okie dokie. He didn't want to admit it. Alright, so we need to be SpongeBob here. No problem with that, because SpongeBob is I could really use your pretty OP at this point. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? I wonder Just what his me. super secret power is. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Primalism says, does this game have Spongebob spoilers? Well, yes, it does. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I, it's, it's highly recommended you watch seasons 1 through 4 of Spongebob before you get into the game, as there are many spoilers abound. Whenever I hear bunions, it just makes me think of funions. So I don't get grossed out, but I probably should be grossed out. Number one on the bikini bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna be using our missile a lot here, I guess. What the Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 Wait. push. Oh, we need Patrick for that. But can this button do anything else? Say hello to my little bubble friend. Never thought about this, but how do Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man breathe underwater? I'm guessing that's part of their superpowers, if I had to make a guess. Wait, do I need to... No, that only opens that one. I guess you gotta switch to Patrick. Hey, Christmas Elf. Oh wow, we got seven viewers already. I guess it is Friday. Everyone's trying to get down with the, with the SpongeBob. Whoops! Oh, never mind. I thought I threw it into the water. Okay. Ah, uh, and then we go back to Spongebob. Alright. Hey, Fack. I like how Aquaman can breathe underwater. I mean, he should be able to. Barnacle Boy fell into the ocean and Mermaid Man put barnacles in his throat so he could breathe underwater, according to lore. Yeah, that's some deep Mermaid Man lore right there. What is- I don't understand this button. I push the big shiny button. Oh, it resets this. Alright, so we want to leave that there. Dude, the bubble missile, or torpedo, I guess, because we're underwater, is one of the coolest attacks in this game. Let's be real.
Boom! There we go. Is there anything else up here, though? Hmm. I guess not. Okay. Honestly, the only flaw I could really, like... The only blatant flaw I could think of this game is that the characters feel a little slow. But I think, like I said before, it's it's mainly just because I'm used to playing games like Mario 64 where you can just, like, long jump all over the place. You just met the Sponginator. Okay. This part's a little weird because it wants us to keep switching between, um... Patrick and Spongebob, but then you gotta come back here to do that. The bus gag is pretty fun way to hide the character swap. Yeah, that's true. And I guess that's kind of a direct reference to the Rock Bottom episode where they take the bus. I can't think of another episode where they're like, whoops. Oh, and that's why there's the reset button. Wait, was it? I got lost this way. I think they actually walk slower than the original, says Nick. Really? You know, I was... Like, I haven't played the original in like over 10 years, so I I, I don't have it very fresh in my brain, but it, it does feel a bit slow. I, I wasn't sure if they slowed them down or something. Because I, you, I just kind of, it feels like you wish there was like a, like a run button or something. I guess I could do this, go a little faster, I don't know. Most of the game plays pretty much just as I remember it though. It's, it's pretty close. Wait, what did that switch do exactly? Because it didn't open up this button. Maybe it triggered the water? Can we jump on this? Time for a little sleepy sneak. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's not water. Okay. I thought that was water, but that was his um That was the robot's little uh his attack range. That really threw me off guard. All right, three more crystals. So we need Patrick again. Actually, we didn't even need SpongeBob for that part. I thought that that uh, gate, the cage was gonna unlock when I hit the button, but... I made it a, a wrong assumption on that one. I mean, the, the game's pretty fun. Overall, I think overall it's been getting pretty good player reviews. There's been websites that have been giving it bad reviews. I forgot which website. It might be GameSpot. Some website gave it like a 2 out of 10, which I think is ridiculous. A 2 out of 10 would indicate a game that's like practically unplayable. And this game is is, is definitely playable. There's, it is not anywhere near that bad. Even if you're like not like a big fan of the game, that doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I think IGN gave it like a 5 out of 10. Just a little more reasonable, but even I still don't think... I don't I don't think that's a great score. Wait, I could just hit it with my belly, can I? Oh no, you gotta hit these one with the missiles. They're special buttons. Um... Like, yeah, it's, it's not a masterpiece game. But it's a fun game. I would say even like discounting nostalgia stuff. It's funny because I actually don't feel a lot of nostalgia for this. I think because it looks so different. Like I I, know, I keep seeing thing, things and I'm like, okay, I remember that being there. But it looks so different that it catches me off guard. I don't quite get the nostalgia pangs. So it, it kind of feels like I'm just playing a new game with the same controls as the old one. But, uh, it's a decent game. The only thing I could say is that I, I think $30 for me is a little 
more than it maybe should be. But that's just, I'm kind of cheap. I don't really... I don't buy new games very often, like full price new games. I would see this game being like maybe around like $20 personally. And that's mainly just for the fact that it's like a remaster. And it's also... It's not super long. I don't know. It depends. Wait, wasn't I able to get there before? What changed? Something happened. I feel like something's wrong here. Oh, there we go. Um, I'd go upwards to like maybe like $25. $30 just feels like a little much for a, a remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it. I guess they did rebuild this from the ground up to be fair, from, from what I've heard. But people who are used to games with more content may not be used to how, how short this is. It wouldn't take me too long to 100% it probably. Like, this is my third stream, and I have, I think I have like, 56 golden spatulas. There's a hundred in the whole game, from what I recall. Oh, that's just to get down to where we were. Oh, there's a teleporter box now. Okay, good. So now we can go down here. Fax says, Easy Allies has the phrase swimming in sevens for this kind of not top of the line but also not bottom of the line type of game that hits the nice sweet spot i think that it fits this game pretty well yeah it's not like a, it's not quite an indie game but it's not quite like a top budget game title either um i mean that's just like price-wise, but also... Oh, wait. Okay, I'll try to bring the stone statue up here first, and then I'll do the platform thing. It's definitely a fun game. There's, there's nothing blatantly wrong with it. A cut, you know, some levels aren't as fun as other ones. This level, like, isn't as interesting visually, but it's not, you know, really, really bad. Let's see, where am I going to get a stone statue? Oh. We'll just take these ones. Um. What was I going to say? I don't know, other levels are, you know, some levels are better than others. Jesus. You know, I should probably take those guys out. With Spongebob. Oh no, I could throw watermelons at him, maybe. Let's see. Okay, no, maybe not. Alright, let's go. Switch to Spongebob. Uh, Christmas Elf says, I can't believe giving a game a score of 2. Well, some games might deserve that score, but I definitely don't think this game deserves it. I really... I don't know, I don't get how someone would think to give this game that. that. That is like... A game would have to be practically broken to get that score, in my opinion. I have both versions of the game. In the old version, the movie theater was like the reward level that shows you like a lot of cut concepts like Robot Squidward. The thing is that it costs a lot. Yeah, I played the original version when I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that was like the last thing I ever unlocked was the movie theater because it costs like so many uh, shiny objects. And I heard that they, they put the Squidward robot boss fight back into the game, but they made it like a multiplayer thing. I kind of wished that they would have just kept it like a single player thing. That would have been cool. But at the same time, it, it's, it is cool that they're bringing it back at all. Was that the only guy in here? I thought there was another one. I guess not.
Oh, we want Patrick up there. Okay. Fair enough. I think we could switch to him faster if we go... Where was it? Not that way. This way. Robot Squidward is the new multiplayer mode in this one. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't mind the fact that they made it a multiplayer thing, but I just wish they also would have added it into the single player. Because surely they would have had, like, the lines for the boss battle and stuff, and that could have been cool. I'm also just kind of biased because I care more about single player content than multiplayer. Uh, oh yeah. Patrick. I think there was something else too, like we're gonna go into the dream level pretty soon. And most of the dream level is Squidward's dream from what I remember. But there's this little segment where you go into Patrick's dream and it's just this tiny little like him on like a... Like a mechanical horsey type thing, it's like a seahorse. And... That's it, it's just some tiny little area, and the joke is that his dream is like really simple and basic compared to like the other dreams. And um... Apparently that was another cut section. Okay, we want... Oh, we gotta bring the watermelon up there quickly. Oh wait, wrong way. Uh, but they made that into another multiplayer thing, maybe? I don't know. I, I read a tiny bit in the Steam page discussion when I was asking people about pro controller support. And I didn't realize that even though Steam recognizes your pro controller, you have to actually go into these special settings and then activate pro controller support. Like, I don't get why... I don't get why you would need... Where do I bounce up from here? I don't get why that would- oh, okay, I see. I don't get why that's a question. Like, well, yeah, I want to be able to- I, w I want you guys to be able to support my controller. Why would I have that turned off? But at least I could use the Pro Controller now. That's a benefit. So go up here. Boom. Oh, god. Oh, that drop shadow is so... Oh, we just barely made it. What do I do with this? Last Thank second. Sparkly thingy. How the heck are we... You would have to, like, get one tiki head. Hang on, hang on, let's see. Okay, there, that tiki head's there, but if we pick that up, I think the leaves drop back down. See, this is kind of like a puzzle section. Okay, we want those up. Put that back there. I can see the argument for not adding it to single player mode to preserve the feel of the original game. Yeah, I guess the thing about that, I don't know, maybe I'm alone with this, but... I don't... The game looks so di like so upgraded that I don't get a lot of nostalgia from it, like I mentioned before. So I guess for me, it wouldn't be a huge deal. But I can get how other people might feel that way. Like, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, I remember... Oh yeah, okay, so... I would place this here? Maybe, and then... Whoa, okay. I don't know if there's a way to set this down. Like, I see things and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that from the other, from the original, and then... But it, since it looks different, I don't know. It just, it just has this... It, it's different than as if I was just playing the original game again. It kind of makes me wish I played the original again first, so I could compare it better. All right, what does this one do? How about that? Okay, so this is a whole different section. Oh, sweet. 
So we're, we're just missing one of those now. This doesn't seem to trigger anything, that's weird. Okay, so we don't need this here anymore. So we could grab this one. But I'm still not sure about how I would launch. There must be some trick. I would need to put like play this right here, but I don't think you could just set it down. You can only throw. So this can launch me, and that's cool. But I need to get that over there is the problem. So Huh. Oh. Okay, I didn't even realize I could throw it that far. All right. Okay, well that solves that. Now I just need to get the watermelon. And that's what the watermelon's for. Because at this point we're using up the, the stone tiki's in this area. All right. I know this level's like not as interesting as some of the other ones, but uh, after this I'll play the dream level, which is probably one of the coolest levels from what I remember. There we go, now we can do this. Mmm, alright. Where is that exactly? It made it seem like that was in this room, but I guess it wasn't. Oh, it was in- it was behind there, but how do we open that gate? Okay, I think, I think I have an idea. Coolest or cruelest? Uh, well, I, I think the dream level is pretty hard too. Actually, now that you mention it. But it's also probably just more f fun. I mean, since when are, when, when are dream levels not fun? So I think when I when I stand on this, it's triggering something that I just can't see. Okay, I'm think. Oh, there we go. I I feel like it, it should show like a little cutscene or something. Like they're missing that. Okay. It's a little tricky to steer the torpedo, but that's normal. Alright, so there's push, that push, button. Push, push. Okay, so there must be another platform we have to stand on to, to get that other button. But where is that? Oh, we just opened this area. Okay, cool. I feel like a new sponge. Another camper. GameSpot says unforgiving difficult? Are you serious? Oh, are you just like making a joke? I was about to say, because this this is not a, a very difficult game at all. Not at all. You know, it, there's parts that are challenging, but because, you know, it's one of those games where you can, you know, missions are optional. You can choose which missions you want to do. Or you can even like do things like, oh, if I save up enough shiny objects, I can just buy a golden spatula for Mr. Krab, stuff like that. You know. Makes it a bit easier to collect. Okay, that way. Uh, it's true, they really said that. What? That is just bizarre. I don't know, I've heard a lot of things about 
like you don't you do not need to be a pro gamer to review games by any stretch of the you know imagination but you should have some competence because i remember there was also that famous i don't i don't remember if this was also a game spot but there was that famous incident where uh this guy for this team played um was playing cuphead and you know cuphead is known for being a difficult game but he couldn't get past the tutorial spot where all you had to do was press jump and then dash all you had to do was hit one button and then the other button that's all and he was stuck there for like 10 minutes and that's not even about like oh i'm not good at platformers or i'm not good at this or whatever it was it's just literally like heck I don't know, it's just you hit one button and then another button, and like they just were not having it. And it's, you know, it's fine, you don't need to be, you know, not everyone's got to be good at everything, but the fact that he's reviewing games, that that's a, a bit concerning. It was someone from Forbes, I think. Uh, combat interactions can feel incredibly unfair, and death is unforgiving in the worst way. Death is not unforgiving in the worst way. This game is very gen- Watch, I'll kill myself right now. That sounds messed up, but... First of all, look how hard it is for me to even drown. I'm trying to drown myself right now. Okay, now watch this. Oh. Wow, I'm in the exact same area I was before. I just drowned again. <laughs> I don't know. The, the game is very forgiving when it comes to that. And then another thing is like, oh, uh, I want to go back to to uh, the the crystals. I want to go back to Barnacle Boy because I collected all the crystals. You can just go right to him. I don't even remember if that was in the original game. But boom, I here I am. Now I can the checkpoints are actually very power. generous in this game. All right, stand. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to... Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. There we go, another golden spatula. I will say it's funny how sometimes the golden spatulas don't have the glow around them. Uh, I think that's a glitch. The game just updated today too, before I started playing. So I'm wondering what they updated. Alright. What else do we have to do down here? Oh, you know what? There was another area back there. So we got the golden spatula. It was in the back of this cave. And we got all the power crystals. We also found the camper. Um, it was missing, so I think this area is pretty cleared out. Do you know oh, we're cool. But I believe there was one a section over here that led to somewhere else. Let's see if we could get to that. It's so weird. I thought that the. Uh, I did not expect their criticisms of the game to be that it was too difficult. I thought it would have been like, uh, the first level is, is a pretty bad level to open up on because it's kind of boring, you're kind of just running around. It, 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 it makes the game feel like it's it's simply a collect-a-thon, almost, like when you first start playing. And it's very slow and it's not a very interesting level, it's, it's just, uh, where am I going? Over here. Um, sorry, I started talking, I got lost. Um, it's not a great opening level, but I, it's not because it's difficult, it's just, it's just kind of boring and samey for a while. And then as you get to later levels, it starts getting better. What does this do? I don't remember. Like, this level isn't too great either, aesthetically-wise, because it's also kind of... I guess it's kind of my opinion, and I get lost easily when levels are like this, but uh, other levels get better. 
Like the rock bottom level is cool. Here we go. Um, the sand mountain level is cool because it's just all about, you know, s snowboarding or sandboarding. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all. I have to beat Mermaid Man's time now challenge. I am a bit busy with all these robots. Try not to fall off. I don't think we've done vine swinging yet. So, this is going to be a learning experience. Uh, whoops. Oh, it's a surfing thing. That's funny. I just mentioned the sand mountain. Sorry, I was just about to read the uh, chat. I didn't realize this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a much narrow path. More narrow path than the, uh, the sand mountain. Doesn't look like oh, there's lots of multiple paths though. Ah, oh, we just missed it. All right. Um. My yet. Very important question: Are the Pokemon games technically collectathons? Maybe. Uh, I could see this as an average slash mediocre game in terms of gameplay. The SpongeBob theme does carry it a lot, so I give it above average score. But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, hey, sponge, Didier Karad. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I, he says, I just finished the game today. It's good to play something not depressing like The Last of Us 2. It's a fun game. Uh, I'm getting towards the end of it myself. So let's try not to fall off this time. At least here, it doesn't seem like there's lots of alternate paths. It's just about staying on the track. At least I assume. Because that was the whole challenge in the Sand Mountain level is uh, you need to take all the best paths in, in, order, in order to beat the time challenges. I love opening presents. Uh oh. I like how we're just taking Mermaid Man for his word that that was his record time. Oh, look, I could have bounced up there. So I think that was an alternate path, actually. I'm probably not going to beat his time, and I'll, not, I'll have to go back and do that. Or maybe not, I guess we'll see. Whoa, oh god, I can't see. Oh god. Oh, lord. Okay. Yeah, I did a nice save and then I uh, and then I goofed. Yeah, the the vines in the foreground did not help me there. See, the thing is, I think the gameplay actually feels pretty good for the most part. There's a lot of like cartoon, like games based on cartoons or movies or whatever that are made that are very low quality and they just feel clunky, and it's entirely. It just entirely relies on the source material. But this game does not feel bad. It, it feels pretty good. You know, some parts are a little, you know, a little off, but overall, the game does not feel bad. And that's the important part, is try to remember to bounce off that leaf. There we go. So I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna save us some time. It's also harder to tell where you're gonna go on this than in the Sand Mountain because everything's so claustrophobically condensed. Just vines and mountains everywhere. It's hard to see what's coming up next. I guess that's part of the challenge though. Oof. Oh god, I don't know if I should have traded right there. Hope that finish line's coming up because uh, it's getting close. Oh, I think we did it, look. Hey, we did it. 
All right. I mean, stuff like that's like stuff like that's challenging for sure, but if you can't beat that challenge, there's tons of other missions you can still do. Well, now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course flicked. I guess I owe you a reward. Thanks, mermaid. See, we just got two golden spatulas. You get one just for, for completing the trek without falling off, and then the other one for the time, so that's pretty cool. Um, look at that. We got all the golden spatulas except the Lost Campers one, which I think most of the Lost camper Campers are in that area anyways, which we didn't really thoroughly check out at the start. So we'll try to see if we can find them, and then we'll move on to the dream level. I think we're missing... Yeah, we're just missing a few. Whoops. I mean, I like that there's a good variety of, like, robot enemies. That's cool. They could have just made, like, three enemy types and repeated it over and over again. That would have been really boring. But luckily, they didn't do that. Lickety split would have been a better pun. True. How cheap the bubble missile is. I'll just run up to him at this point. Alright, so where are these missing campers at? just created a path for that one. This looks like I would roll my... I guess it's just a coincidence. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was that? Over here? I should have paid attention better. Oh, back there. Uh, I also like about the game that it's challenging sometimes. Yeah, it, it's a, it actually has a pretty good balance. Like some of the missions are easy and some of the missions are harder. And it, that's that's a good thing to have because it gives you, you know, options to play. You know, you can try the harder challenges and if it's too hard, you can go do an easier challenge. It's pretty well balanced, and the later levels are harder than the earlier levels, so it's not like it just randomly changes difficulty, which a lot of games have that problem. Oh, back there, that's weird. It's also kind of cool that they... Some levels, you can you can always play as Spongebob, but some levels you, you play as... You can switch to Patrick, and some you can switch to Sandy. And they designed the levels around that second partner. Because if I could use Sandy on this level, then I could more easily just float around and grab the different campers. So that's why instead they designed it around, you know, Patrick and SpongeBob. another camp around here somewhere. This is the beginning. Have I been up here yet? I don't think I have. Kelp vines. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. The boss fights are also pretty fun, too. Like, the first one with the uh, Jellyfish King is in, like, two crazy, but the, the giant robot boss fights are fun. I could throw this watermelon onto that button up there. Oh, and there's a bus changer too. That's very convenient. Mm, I thought I'd be able to throw it. I guess it's a little too far. 
So, why is this watermelon right here? Maybe we need to hit a button to summon that. I experienced a glitch where I can't get the golden spatula into Squidward's house. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. I have heard, like, things about this game that people have been experiencing glitches and stuff, which kind of sucks. That's what I would have expected the bad reviews to focus on. I didn't think they would, you know, say it's too hard. I just thought they would say, like, oh, it's unstable or glitchy or something. Most of the game is works fine though, but I have heard like things here and there. Oh, there's a camper over there. Yeah, GameSpot gave th this game a 2. Yeah, I saw that. That, I really don't get that. A game has to be really, really bad to get it to. Like, that that has to be a game that's almost unplayable. So, giving this a 2 just feels ridiculous. Whoops. So I'm wondering, what, what do I do with this watermelon? They must want me to do something. Oh, well. That's... That's good to know. Um... Can we go in there? Oh yeah, I guess you can. We could just use the bathroom. So shiny! Oh, the other camper must be over there. Somewhere. We haven't really explored that section. This one goes boom, hard as a ah! Pretty sure I haven't been over here yet. Whoops. Okay, we'll just wait for that to explode. I would give it a 7 or 8, says uh, Karad. Yeah! I think that's a fair score. Ah. Hmm. Ah, that helps. Oh look, I think I was supposed to go from this way and do this. That's pretty funny. Whoops, I missed. Alright, well now we can do this. Also visually, it's a very pretty game. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, there's a leaf to bounce on. Okay. Wait. Uh, there we go. Oh, never mind. That went a whole different direction. Okay. All right. Um. Huh. How are we going to get a watermelon over there? It almost feels like you can make that jump. Yeah, that's the last camper back there too. Okay. Alright, let's see. How are we going to get a 
watermelon over here. I could probably just bring a stone tiki with me too, which would make it easier. I'm sure there's one somewhere around here. Oh, I did the same glitch. I don't know if I'm hitting that coral or what. Uh, Christmas Elf says this game is so forgiving I didn't- I don't understand that point at all. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what's happening right here. Whenever I try to throw the watermelon- Well, here's a- another glitch for you guys. It's very strange. I, I'm probably not supposed to throw it that way, but it's weird that it's doing that. There must be a button somewhere that I haven't hit yet that'll trigger something over here to help me. Because I need, like, a watermelon or something up here. And that bounces me that way. But I don't see any buttons around here that I've missed. Pick this up again. This watermelon's intended for... something. Can I just... Oh, it, it, it's targeting something. That's what it is. It's been targeting something below me. But I can't see what I'm ta- oh! Oh, I thought I saw a button down there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. You are- you're just supposed to- You know what, I- It's cause all those robots were down there, it kept targeting something. That's what it is. It's kind of hard to tell where, how far you could throw those sometimes. Alright. There we go. Sweet. So we found all the campers. So we got all the golden spatulas in this level. Uh, I, I think Sandy's abilities are kind of outdated, but they still work well. No, when, playing as Sandy feels like almost like OP, because she can float all over and she could lasso up the robots. Hello there, Patrick. Oh, she wants to talk to SpongeBob. I will say one other thing that could have been improved is if you didn't have to like use like if it, if it's a mission about collecting something and you could use both characters, you have to use both characters. It's weird that you need to go back with the other character. There you are. I guess it's cuz the lines only fit with that character. Returned. Hey Andrew. Andrew says they need to remake Spongebob the movie like this. Yeah, I remember playing that game too and I think the engine was pretty much the same and it was also a pretty fun game. No problem, Mrs. Puff. So I wouldn't mind if they did that. You would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, Sp Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula. Wow, Mrs. Puff. There we go. Alright, so now we're done with this level. I'm sure there's a couple socks. We're missing one sock, actually. So... We can, uh... Let's just exit out of the... The normal exit, since we're, we're pretty close to it anyways. Let's rack up some points of, along the way. Hey Kiko, what's up? Kiko says, Jay, you should play Glover64 one of these days. I think it's just Glover, right? I don't think they made any other games. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Those jellyfish don't even usually do anything. That was, uh... That was unexpected. Simpsons Hit and Run remake would be great. Yeah, I, I remember that game being pretty fun too. You know what's funny? I played that game in like a few different people's houses. I never got to beat it. Like I remember getting really far. I think I actually had it at one point too, but the game kept glitching. 
on the very final level, the game kept crashing. Like, I remember the whole, fl like, the ground just becoming see-through and the game would just crash. Alright. So, are you ready to enter SpongeBob's dream? The greatest level in video game history? Feeling sleepy. SpongeBob, no, don't do it! Freddy Krueger's the boss in this level. Christmas Elf says, as a remake, I couldn't- I wouldn't ask for better. This is the most faithful one I've seen in a while. How about Simpsons Road Rage, basically this Crazy Taxi? Comes I've played that too. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. All I remember in Simpsons Hit and Run was kicking poor Ralph Wiggum. Gary? What are you doing yeah. here? It was just Grand Theft Auto but with Simpsons characters. Oh, That's so why I'm it was dreaming. fun. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Meow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Meow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready. Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. I was hoping I'd keep the mustache. All right. Oh, that's how you leave. You go into the Spongebob's pineapple. That's cool. I also love Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha 3. The roster is huge. And Capcom vs SNK 2. Oh, look at this. I remember this level being pretty tough. This is going to be intense. This 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 reminds me of the, the floodless Super Mario Sunshine levels. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Is that a new robot? It looks like it. How do we fight that? How oh god. Hang on. This is a new robot. I don't even know how we're supposed to fight this. Did I destroy the bubble? Alright, get rid of him first. Oh lord, that was bad timing. Alright, that was better. Um, when Spongebob gets hit, he jumps back. Yeah. This game is so bright and shiny. It is, it is pretty bright. The original game wasn't that bright, actually. What does that do? Oh, I see. Oh, we missed it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, well, we'll just try that again. Spongebob using the Hamon bubble attack. Yeah, Spongebob is a, a known uh, Hamon user, actually. He's the master of the underwater ripple. Oh, I did it again, I jumped too soon. Ah, oh, yeah, you gotta you gotta wait till it's like right on this ledge, I think. The tricky one. Dude, now I'm getting peanuts flashbacks. Oh god. Try to explain peanuts for the folks at home. I don't know if I can. Peanuts was this disturbing... There we go. Peanuts was this disturbing webcomic that Kiko made that was just... 
It's basically like a parody of those weird like web comics that people would make where they would like do fan stuff and they would just throw in like Sonic characters and Mario characters and everything and they would try to make it like super crazy and epic. And Peanuts was that like dialed to like 50. It was just like disgustingly, I don't even know. I don't know. All the characters are like mutants and they're like hodgepodges of franchises that shouldn't ever coexist. Like I think Wario and like old Joseph from Jojo part three were like fused together into one entity. But he was also like a mutant. Like it was, I don't even know what to say. Ask, why am I explaining what you did? You just met the sponginator. Oh no, the freaking stream crashed. Okay, now we're back. Sorry, the stream, the stream seemed to have crashed for a second. Uh, this has parallels to the Batman games when Scarecrow g gives you drugs. Yeah, true. Hang on, let me turn the bit rate down a bit. I don't know what's... Ugh. Oh, we were doing so good for a while. What happened? What happened? All right, I think it's better now, hopefully. What is this? Do you want to spend a thousand shiny objects on what? They didn't even tell me. Okay, now we could go up here. Oh, it's doing it again. Oh, come on YouTube. Sorry about that. Whoops, we don't want to go there. Stop dropping my frames, please. Oh, it's just going. Did it stop? No, it's still dropping frames. Can you guys see me play or is it just completely frozen? Or can you even hear me right now? Well, right when we're, we're getting a lot of viewers too. Unacceptable, I want a refund for this stream. This is Kiko. Okay, it looks like we're back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on going. Oh, oh. I see. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's going in and out. Okay. I, th I think it's, we're back now. So look, now we can enter the dreams of all the. All right. Sorry about that. Oh my God. What's happening? My mouse, where the hell? It's not letting me click out of the game. Is the stream out? God damn it. Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in hard time, boy? <laughs> okay, so I can't get out of the game when it's uh in the middle of dialogue apparently. Um, okay, I think it's back. I think we're back. God, sorry about that, guys. Ah. Let me fix my, uh... All well, my windows are all out. Okay. Alright, it says it's not crashing now. Um, Squidward's gonna have some cess dreams. Yeah, I missed Sandy's dream. I need to go back to that. I didn't realize that that I was progressing. I thought I was taking the side route. I'll, I'll go back to Sandy's dream. 
Okay. Oh, that sucks. Like, half the people left. I remember this being, um... Hang on, let me make sure you guys can even see me. Can you guys see the stream now? I remember this this uh, being pretty tricky, the stream level. Okay, we're back. All right. Okay, thank you. Sorry, cause I'm not even sure sometimes. Hey look, it's a pound sign. That means sharp, I think. That's sharp, right, in music? Oh, it's sharp, I get the joke. <laughs> Dude, look at the handsome Squidward in the bottom left. Is that chill? That episode probably wasn't even out by the time this the, the original game came out. All right, we're back, sweet. I remember this being so tough as a kid. But now that I have my Nintendo Pro Controller, nothing can stop me. How am I supposed to reach those guys? I'm pretty sure that's too far. Mm, I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't know, that's weird. No, yeah, there's a big gap right there. Oh, that's weird. I guess I just have to go for it? No, see, I definitely can't make that jump, what the heck? Well, at least I don't have to restart the whole dream, because, you know, this game has pretty nice checkpoints. Okay, this time they're, they're spread apart at a good rate. That was weird. I wonder if that was a glitch. Or if I was just supposed to wait or something. See, this is where the game's straight up a platformer. Like, this does not feel like a collect-a-thon. <laughs> ah, can you... Hmm. This feels like sometimes they're too far apart. Unless you can jump on the sticks, but I don't think so. I wonder if anyone out there just has all these Squidward portraits on their walls, framed. Wow, you have to jump all the way out there to get that sock, forget that. I ain't doing all that over again. Although if you want to 100% the game, you probably have to do that. Oh, look at that. This is a really unchill model of Squidward. Mm. You can kind of see the polygons, that's weird. Good job. 
Alright, let's go back to Sandy's dream now, which we accidentally skipped. Wow, we didn't... We didn't fall off somehow. Wow. wow. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. Oh, so we get to play Sandy. That's nice. Huh. You think that'd be a sock instead of a purple shiny object? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. At least we got all the shiny objects. Um... Is it the same voice actor for Mr. Krabs? They actually don't have the original voice actor for Mr. Krabs in this for some reason. Where the heck am I? That's not where I started. Uh... They have most of the characters in this game have their original voice actors. But... Wait a minute. They want you to use Spongebob to bring this down. But I was up there as Sandy. It makes me wonder if I wasn't supposed to be up there as Sandy. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Sandy is in the same dream? This is Sandy's dream. The last dream was Squidward's dream. So it's like, it's like the collective uh, unconscious, like in, in Psychonauts, remember that game? Manure, ew. I forgot the manure and it hurts you too if you fall into it. You don't want to fall into the, to the manure kids. That's no good. What's this, the Alamo? Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal <laughs> dreams of world domination? Well, I guess we're doing a, a challenge. That's oh, not too tough. There was just the one... Okay, this part might be a little harder. Because we're gonna fall right now. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be like a lot more electric fences. Playing Dark Souls while watching, and I died because of you. Look, look. You can't blame me. I'm just playing SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh, we gotta go destroy the machine. Boom. I still like how the plot of the story from the beginning is that Plankton created all these robots, but he accidentally set the machine to not obey instead of obey. The only two options that the lever was on. So they just ran amok without him. Pretty clever writing, if you think about it. Oh, that's all of them. You're just too entertaining. Well, thank you.
What's back here? A sock? I knew it! How did I know it? It was just instinct. I used my, my ultra instinct to find that sock. Now I need to get back to where we were. Jeez. Feels like Super Mario Galaxy suddenly. I think Nintendo... I think Shigeru Miyamoto was playing this game and then he was like, Ah oh, yes, we can make Mario do this. They just totally ripped off the Spongebob game, I can't believe it. Ten more golden spatulas till the end of the game, yep. I am gonna check out all the levels though, so if I get uh, enough spatulas before then, I'll, I'll still wanna at least, you know, look into the other levels. Oh, floating cows throwing pie. I guess the, they're throwing cow pies, which is slang for yet more manure. Whoa, 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 what's down here? Hang on. It's weird, usually the robots have like a little intro, but those ones didn't. See, we almost mi missed another sock. Is there anything else here? Mm, doesn't look like... Doesn't look like it. There's even those few water levels where you use motion controls that are kind of like these slides. Exactly. I'm telling you, Shigeru Miyamoto played this game, and then he he did his 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 devilish uh, Grinch grin, and he said, "Ah, oh, yes, I know what to do." Inside of Texas itself now, apparently. Ooh, it's full of manure. Why is Sandy? Sandy always says how good Texas is, and her dream of Texas is just manure everywhere. I guess that's the fear part. Maybe that's her worst fear. Oh god. Also, those cows are one of the few enemies that aren't uh, robots, I think. The only other ones I could think off the top of my head are the, uh, the jellyfish. And there's a golden spatula. Uh, I think the robot has an introduction in the Flying Dutchman level. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Which is weird, because you would come to this level first. Because the Flying Dutchman level costs, like, 60 golden spatulas or something. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. See whose dream is next. Oh, that was a close one. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, Mr. Krabs' dream? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oof, good thing that just did one damage. 
Oh, that guy. Let's get rid of him. Whoops. Aha! You didn't see that one coming, did you? You sleepy robot. I need that underwear. Alright, Mr. Krabs' dream. Let me guess, there's gonna be money and Krabby Patties everywhere. Squidward, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun... We don't have time for this! Oh, that's a lot of robots. Oh, and they have like the bubble protection too, which means you have to hit them like twice. Okay, well... First of all... Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, God, they're attacking me already? Oh, no. Okay. Jesus. I need to get rid of these guys, first of all. Is this safe? Or is it a bouncer? Nope, it's not a bouncer. Because I need to get rid of these. Because they're going to keep making more of them. Oh god. Jesus. Maybe I could like stay far away enough. Oh. Does the bubble come back? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Whatever. We'll ju we'll just we'll just try to rush these guys. Oh, you can get up there. Just my side. Kind of. They don't give you a lot of time. I'm gonna get hit right now. Oh! Okay, let's see. There's gotta be another way to get up there. Oh, the more ro robots you destroy. I see. Oh god, I'm doing very poorly. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. There we go. To go for a burger. Alright, that explains it, yeah, because you don't have time to hit him with the missiles. I guess that's the weakness to it, why you can't just keep doing that over and over again. This is working infinitely better. Do it? Alright, we got enough. Yeah, I could tell that that that's really difficult if you don't realize that as you kill the robots, it makes the burgers split up like that. But we did figure that out, so everything was okay in the end. Alright, next. You gotta time those jumps just right. Yeah. 
Oh. Uh. Not like that. SpongeBob just happily falling to his doom. You just need to be fast. Fast. There we go. Just don't overthink it. Alright, now we're gonna go to Patrick's dream. I'm sure his dream is gonna be just as crazy as everyone else's, right? Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it. Now here <laughs> is your reward. Wow, that was the hardest one yet. I don't know how we managed to pull that off. That was very difficult. I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your reward. You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary uh, needs another bath. Uh, okay, Nick's games. Which which name should I should I call you by? I Patrick, I yeah. I you I Patrick is a sadist for making you go through that. I know, right? I mean, I don't know how I managed to do that, because that's probably the the mission the game spot you know was talking about when they said the game was too unfair. It was just too challenging. And now I could see why, because I, I forgot how, how difficult that was. You know, it's very understandable now why they gave it a 2 out of 10 for being too difficult. And that, that next golden special we just got was almost as difficult. Alright, uh... Did we get all the golden spatulas? Oh, we did! We got all the golden spatulas in this level. Sweet. So now we can go home. Alright, well, that level was fun. So next... I think next is the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard? Seek Kelp Forest... Yeah, I believe that's, that's next. All right, yeah, let's do that. And then after that is the final level. So we only need six more golden spatulas. So normally, like, by the time you get to this level... The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome spectacle. We've been really clearing out the levels, so we're going to be pretty set to go to the final boss pretty soon. Hey, King Curb. Thanks for joining. Hey, it's the Flying Dutchman, look. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? Fun fact, did you know that the Flying Dutchman is voiced by Bill Murray's brother? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away. Robot so pirates? That's just reminding me of Rayman 2. Is to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship. And use the cannons to single-handedly defeat Yeah, it's Garfield's ship. brother. <laughs> exactly. Garfield's brother is a Any ghost question? pirate. Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. We're gonna get the booty. Have you done everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get along the... Oh, that's just how you leave. Okay. Dude, this, the music in this level is pretty intense. There it is. Yep, there's a cutscene. <laughs> this 
SpongeBob's just back there. Uh. Your thoughts on the game? I think it's a pretty fun game. I, I played the original when I was younger and I liked it. Um, you know, obviously it's not like a masterpiece, but it's pretty fun. And it plays very closely to the original from what I remember. Uh, they put a lot of work into redoing the graphics, which I think look pretty nice overall. Um, yeah, overall I think it's pretty cool. It, it's a little pricey for me for a, for a remaster. Like $30. I maybe would prefer if it was like 20 25 But uh, besides that, pretty cool game. There's like little issues here and there, you know. Some, some parts of the game still feel a little dated, but... Since it's... It plays very similar... Uh, similarly to the original game, I guess... You know, that's that's what they're going for anyway, so it's not really a, an issue. Uh, it's not super long for the kind of game it is. It probably wouldn't take me too long to 100% it if I was going to do that. So... It depends on the person. You know, if other people want way more, like, hours and hours of content, they may not like it as much, but I think it's... I think it's pretty well put together, overall. I've been enjoying myself. I definitely don't agree with GameSpot giving it a 2 out of 10, that's for sure. That just does not make sense to me. Oh, we're going down here. Especially when their main complaint is that it's too unfairly difficult. That does not make sense. Did you hear about Crash Bandicoot 4? Yeah, I, I did hear about that actually. That makes me want to replay the old Crash Bandicoot games again because I have not played those in years. Wait a second, let me pay attention here. I wasn't really... Okay, so we don't... We want to hit this button later? Oh, we want to close that. Okay, I see. And then we can hit the button. What does that do? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, so we could wall jump, that makes sense. Uh, I like smooth HQ look combined with nostalgia fill. I can't pinpoint even though I never played the original. He is a clown. <laughs> Are you talking about the, uh, the GameSpot reviewer? Even like IGN gave it like a 5 out of 10 I think, which I also think is pretty harsh. 2 out of 10 is just, that just is unreasonable. That is- that should be for a game that barely works at all. That shouldn't be for this game. This game plays completely fine for the most part. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Wait a second. Oh, there's a thing I gotta close. Oh, uh, the Insane Trilogy remasters are really good. I'm, 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 I'm mixed between if I want to play that, which I've never played before, or if I want to just play the originals, since I haven't played those in a long time. Hey, Professor Beef. He says they're probably redirecting traffic to the train wreck that is The Last of Us 2. I don't really have any thoughts on that because I never really played the original, so I can't really comment. King Curb says, found out this remaster was only in development for like 10 months. That's pretty impressive, especially considering, um, I, I believe they built the game from the ground up. Rebuilt it, rather. Uh-oh. 
I didn't realize there was going to be a speed thing. And then do we want to go over here? Wait. Were we supposed to go up there? I gotta figure this out. Yeah, let's figure this out before we uh, hit that timer again. Oh, I probably just have to hit this. Yeah. And then over here. Let's see. Where's the cage at though? I don't see the cage. Whoops. Oh, I'm down here now. I hear the multiplayer for this game is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll have to try that out. I haven't tried it yet. I might try it after I beat the game. Since I'll probably have some time still. Um, I, I mentioned this before, but apparently they, they took a the cut robot Squidward boss that was supposed to be in the original. Oh! You're just supposed to r r race there from down here, because we lowered the, the goop. That makes sense. Well, good thing I figured that out eventually. Um, anyways, I, I kind of wish that they had made the Squidward robot part of the one-player mode as well. But it's it's still cool that they, they just added it back in at all. So, can't really complain about that. There we go, we figured that out. Where does this lead to? Nowhere yet. King Curb. Um, I don't know if you played the original, but I've heard from a couple people that feel- they, they say it feels like the game- the characters like move a little slower, like they run a little slower than the original. And I kind of was thinking it might be that myself, but I haven't played the original game in so long that I- I'm not sure. Do you think that the characters are a little bit slower, or do you think it's just uh, the Mandela effect or something? Oh wow! I could have sworn he died in uh, a single hit. Usually, that guy was like extra strong. You was rolling around at the speed of sponge. Yeah. Rolling around at the speed of sponge. Got water to soak up. Dishes to clean. Must keep on scrubbing away. No time for dishwashers. They- oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, the controls and movement is hard to understand. Some things are faster in the remaster, such as the sliding sections. The attacks feel faster, too. Yeah, I, I could get that. The wall jumping is also a lot faster. I remember it in the original, the wall jumping was a lot, like, slower. Like, SpongeBob kind of just, like, stuck to the walls. It wasn't necessarily bad, it just was kind of weird. But the the running does feel a little, little slow. I'm just not sure if the original was like that or not. Oh god, the explosion. They got me. I'm getting wrecked right now. You know what? Let's take this guy out from up here. Instead of just jumping down there like last time. Oh, he could hit me from down there. Oh, that jerk. I wonder if we could bubble bowl him. Yes, we can. If we aim it right. Oh, we, have... we can't risk this.
Is that gonna get him? I threw that next one too. So there we go. And he killed me too at the same time. Well, I wish Squidward was a playable character and he could play his clarinet to attack enemies. That'd be funny if Squidward was playable in this. Just him running around. Fun fact, I actually voiced Squidward in a a cartoon that my friend made. Not, not like a big cartoon, just like a little Flash cartoon a while back. Well, I didn't really voice Squidward, I just did the laugh. I just did the ah ha ha ha, like the, the laugh he does. And uh, want to end me for that performance, no big deal, you know. It was the greatest Squidward impression anyone had ever heard. I think that's exactly what he does in the multiplayer mode. <laughs> that's funny. Wait, you could play a Squidward in the multiplayer mode? I definitely gotta check that out. Hang on, I need to take care of this guy. Primalism says, dude, I forgot about that. Yeah. Primalism knows. He knows what I'm talking about. Whoa. Oh no. He almost pushed me off the ledge when I wasn't looking. Get out of here with your duplicating. It's kind of mess up the robots laugh at you when they hit you. It's kind of mean for a kid's game. Okay, so I think we want to move this down? Wait. No. Hang on. Let me think. Let me think here. What's going on? Wait. Oh. I see. We just want him over here. Squidward has a Minecraft villager laugh. Well, don't the villagers in Minecraft also have, like, big Squidward noses? Wait, wait, there's a golden spatula down there, what the heck? Wow, that was a nice POV camera shot. Hang on. How do we get that golden spatula? It's like hiding. I'm pretty sure they they don't intend you to jump down there. Although I feel like you could almost make it, you know what? Let's see. Uh, yep, we made it. Imagine a game critic being unable to finish a kid's game. Yep. Good thing all game critics have, you know, basic video game con. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm sure they can play enough into the game that they can comment on. Wait, I'm stuck down here now. Uh-oh. Yeah, we totally cheesed that. What was that spatula called? Which one was it? Goo Tanker Ahoy. Path Through the Goo. Ah, eh, whatever. Well, since this game has such, you know, fair checkpoints, we can just drown in the goo, and then we'll go back up. Does this game have I wish my girl was as thick as Spongebob Easter Egg? That's a very uh, specific Easter Egg you mentioned. And I would have to say no, it doesn't. And it never will. I'm sorry. See, Professor Beef knows what I'm talking about. That Cuphead video was very... I don't know. I mean, like I said, not everyone doesn't have to be, you know, a pro at playing video games, and you don't even you don't even need to be a pro at games to review games, but you should have a basic, you know, comp competency. 
if you're going to be talking about it in a critical sense. You need to understand how the game works, you know. You need to have like a, a decent enough grasp on the game. You know, and there are games that are broken and it's hard to grasp and stuff like that, and that is a fair point. But sometimes it's it's not the game. Ugh, this this robot. You know what? I'm just gonna I shouldn't have come down here. I shouldn't have come down here. There we go, okay. Uh, it's almost like the people they hire for those reviews aren't gamers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know all the politics behind it, but... It's weird. I mean, some places just, you know, they hire people who can write. You know, they hire people who are very... They have a very strong work ethic, and they can pump out stuff, and that's good. That's a that's a very good quality to have, but they're not necessarily the best for that. You know, a lot of times you have you have um, places that write for a game or a series or whatever, and they don't they don't know what they're talking about. I saw this uh, I saw this article on No More Heroes Three on the trailer, and in the trailer. Uh, the, the trailer called The Return, which the opening of the trailer is just like a few minutes of this backstory of this alien that crash lands and this boy finds him. And the aliens like... No, not the few, first few minutes, like the whole trailer actually. And the aliens like, I gotta go, I gotta leave the FBI's after me, I'll be back in, t in uh, 20 years I think. And he's like, you'll be back in 20 years? And he's like, yep, I'll be back. And it's like this whole like backstory. And then in the future, 20 years pass, and then the alien comes back and he looks way different. He's all grown up and he has like his alien buddies. And he's turned into like this like monster. And not visually, but like mentally, like he's just like this monster. He's like, oh, let's take over the earth. I met these guys like in the galactic prison. They're my friends, we're gonna, Let's take over the world. And then at the end of the trailer, you know, it shows like the title of the, supposedly the title of the game, it says Goddamn Superhero. And it's like, okay, whoa, this is a strange new IP. And then the the title breaks and Travis Touchdown slides in on his, on his motorcycle and he says, oh, it was talking about superheroes, he must be talking about me. And then you realize like, oh, this is the trailer for No More Heroes 3. Oh, this is the main antagonist. And it's such a sick trailer. I love that trailer. Um, it just shows how like Suda51 really thinks outside the box when it comes to making his games. He really focuses on like the story and everything. Wait, I'm trying to find out where I would switch to Sandy here, but maybe we have to bring her back here later. Yeah, that would make sense. And anyway, uh, I read this news article, I forget which website it was, about the No More Heroes 3 trailer, and they're like, No More Heroes 3, like they're acting like they're this huge No More Heroes fan, and all this, and they're saying like, hmm, we wonder who the boy is in the trailer, perhaps it was Travis in his youth. It's like, the alien calls the kid, uh, oh, what's, the, what's the kid's name? He says the kid's name, and it's not Travis. I can't remember the name right now. It's a new character, so I, I can't remember. But Damien, I think. He says, like, Damien, I love you. Damien. And that that's, like, a huge part of the trailer. Because when he's a little baby alien, he tells him, Damien, I love you. And he comes back 20 years later, and this, this grown-up, completely different-looking alien shows up. And you're like, what? And he has like this deep voice and he's like, Damien, I love you. And it's like, oh, that's how you know it's the same alien. It's like, no, how is, how did the the writer of that article think that was Travis in his youth? That doesn't make sense. Like, all, you don't even need to have played the games. You just need to pay attention to the trailer. 
and you would know that that's not the case. And it's like, I understand they're like pumping out articles and stuff, but like stuff like that is just kind of annoying when they don't even pay attention to a trailer. And they act like they're this huge like fan of the game and like, perhaps this would happen or perhaps da 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 or whatever. Damon, there you go, it's Damon. Um, didn't IGN have a review of Celeste that copied another reviewer? I, I would believe that. Anyways, so I was like ranting suddenly about a re reviewer that I don't even know. I don't remember what website it was or what the reviewer was, but it was just, I don't know, stuff like that is weird. But like I said, a lot of times they don't hire people who are necessarily big fans of the thing they're writing. They just hire people who can pump out content as quickly as they can. Which, like I said, that is definitely a... A strength, you know, that's that's there is merit in being able to do that. But uh. Oh wait wait wait, yeah, if we switch to Sandy, then we can go back and do that. Or should we do this first? See I'm never sure. You know, this looks like a separate area, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this first. Then we'll 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 switch to Sandy on the way back. Yeah, this looks like a closed off area. Uh, it's especially annoying for you because you have written articles and take the time to research content. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I was putting too much time in. Like, it would take me... Sometimes it would take me too long. I don't know. It, it's weird. I think you do... Like, if you want to do that and like make like a full time living off of it, Maybe you have to be like that, where you just, you just crap out the articles. But you're right, I have written articles before too, and I, I just, I find it hard to do that. Like, I need to make sure what I'm doing makes sense. I've done stuff on, like, Pokemon. Um, and I am not a Pokemon player. I have, you know, I did not really grow up. I, I watched the show when I was younger, and I played like Pokemon Stadium, I would like rent that game. But I never played any of like the, the mainline games growing up at all. But when I would do like, if I would do like an article on Pokemon, I would do a lot of research to make sure everything was just right. I actually wrote this Pokemon quiz, it was like 50 questions, and it was very, very specific questions that you needed to know the answers to, and you would really, really have to know Pokemon to know the answers. And I really made sure all of them were were correct, because, you know, I know how it is if someone, you know, half-asses an article or a quiz or whatever, and it's like, well, clearly whoever wrote this didn't put work into this or knew what they were talking about. Uh, I think it's important to get the perspective of people who aren't fans of a series slash genre, though. Would be very uninteresting if every No More Heroes 3 review was written by diehard fans. Well, no, no, no. When it comes to a review, I definitely agree with what you're saying. But that was a news article on the trailer, and they, they didn't even pay attention to the trailer enough to realize that the kid in the flashback, whose, whose name is said multiple times, Damon, is not Travis. And just stuff like that, I just feel like that is like bare minimum effort. But I do agree with what you're saying, that people who review games, it shouldn't just all be diehard fans, of course. Like, I give my perspective on this game and it's like, yeah, I played the original and I liked it, but I'm not like a diehard fan. Like, apparently this game's gotten kind of a cult following, which I didn't even really realize. And, um... I think it's because like it, it, it became like a speedrun thing, but uh, you know, and I give my perspective on it. Let's see. Get over here. Uh, King Curb says, I also think that the number, the number score system in reviews are flawed because it's so inconsistent. That is, that's a good argument for sure. Whoa, what is going on down there? 
Oh, whatever it is. Got another golden spatula. That's a good point, King Curb. I think... When I do game reviews, I, I don't do uh, numbers either. And I guess it's because... I kind of have that... I just basically say, like, do I recommend this game? And here's why. That's usually how I would sum it up. Not that my game reviews tend to be proper game reviews. It's more like, here's my experience with the game and my reactions to it and my thoughts. It's it's usually not like me going over every aspect of the game and how I would score the, the aspects. Sometimes it is, it depends. It varies from review to, uh, review, to review. Isn't Sudafed51 making an Ultraman-like game? Sudafed61. Oh boy. Uh, is he making an Ultraman-type game? I wouldn't be surprised. He's probably... I know he's really into, like, Gundam and stuff. Um... Oh, I think that's it. Okay, sweet. So now we can go back and do the Sandy thing. How many Golden Spatules are left? There are a few left on this level. We only need one more to get to the uh, final area, though. So let's go ahead and switch to Sandy. To Sandy Cheeks. They don't call her Cheeks for nothing. That's actually a line from the, the show. You can quote me on that. Uh, I think Platinum announced some sort of Ultraman-ish project. If that's the case, he sure has a lot of... Well, here's the thing about Suda. A lot of times he'll have an idea, but it doesn't mean that it'll actually end up getting made. Because I remember a while back, he said that he was going to do a game based on Franz Kafka's The Castle, which is like one of his favorite authors, and one of my favorite authors too. And I was pretty hyped about that, but that never ended up coming to fruition. It might have actually ended up, a piece of that might have ended up being, uh, uh, what's that game called? Shadows of the Damned? Because I went through a lot of changes. But he never ended up doing that, unfortunately. Kiko says it's frustrating when a reviewer clearly isn't familiar with games in general because it calls the reputation of that publication into question. Yeah. Fax says I don't remember hearing about any pseudo involvement, at least not with the Platinum thing. Yeah, you might have gotten mixed up because I think Platinum has... I think Platinum might have distributed... Uh, Travis Strikes Again... In some degree. That might be what... What you were thinking. Because what I know right now is, you know, he's working on No More Heroes 3, obviously. But he's also wants to do a project with, uh, Swery. You know, well known for, uh, Deadly Premonition. And, uh, so they're, they're working, they want to work on a game together, which, you know, obviously that's not in production yet because they're both finishing up their own games. Where do I want to go from here? Just the sock? Also, you know what I just realized? I have 74. I could actually go to the final boss now. Because I'm not sure where I was supposed to go to... Let's see, did I, did I do your mission? Howdy, Miss <laughs> You're a strange looking sea monster. Sea monster. Oh, I need to be Spongebob to talk to him. But I don't see any bus changers around here. I guess I swapped to Sandy just so I could get that sock. There's a box. Maybe that'll teleport us to a better spot. Was it over here? Um, the original game has some of the most entertaining speedruns ever. That's cool. Has anyone, 
How, have they tried speedrunning the new game yet? Or is like they don't have the same glitches and stuff? So they, they aren't able to. There could be multiple Ultraman-ish games, wouldn't it surprise me? This level's too spooky. Hey, Rag. I'm glad you could stop by. Guys, we're, we're, we're literally about to go into the final boss in a, in a minute. I was just gonna see if the Flying Dutchman... Oh wait, I could teleport to him, I just remembered. Apparently, you can glitch to the end through invisible walls in three minutes. Well. Final boss, baby, three thousand. Have you done everything? Not well. Get along. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna leave this level because I believe there's a golden spatula literally in the chum bucket, which is also the entrance to the final boss. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go do that now. Because if you look at the yeah, the last golden spatula. Inside, well, the last one inside of the hub world. Also, don't you like how the, the crusty crab is right across the street from the trim bucket? It's a lot closer than I pictured it on the cartoon. Wow. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Wow, SpongeBob, that's a little harsh. Oh yeah, there's the... I remember this actually, you can wall jump there. There's just no indication that you can. Whoops. Ah, oh, the way the camera turns keeps throwing me off. There we go. See? There we go! That's the 75th Golden Spatula and we left it right next to the entrance where you need to pay 75 gold spatula so that was like the perfect timing all right here we go final boss time baby well look at that guy that big square head and those short shorts that's the most hideous thing i've ever seen wait that hideous thing looks like me i always knew spongebob would be the death of me jump in jelly beans a robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Why is there a fish mine? Blunting! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the duplicato drug. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! <laughs> really? What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! Oh, there's a robot Plankton, okay. What if he just put the Andre the Giant Obey sticker over it? That'd be funny. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! I remember this boss fight being pretty intense. It looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. That's the ticket! Ouch. It looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. Whoops. That's the ticket. There is health down here, though. New sponge. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Okay, fishman. Oh, the humanity, or should I say, the fishanity? Oh, we've already hit those. Okay, so we need to find. Did we just hit these? They're not glowing yet, though. Just a little. Suck 
Okay, so we do hit those. Wow, so every one of those spots is a, a weak spot. Uh -huh. Ouch. Oh, he keeps... Jesus. Okay, yeah. He is tougher than he initially seems. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, we'll wait until he does that, and then... There we go. Like SpongeBob has an opportunity. Boom. Oh, he's down. <laughs> oh God, karate! Did he just attack me with the captions? Oh, there's the fireworks. I knew they'd show up eventually. The Those platforms remind me of the Tiny the Tiger's boss fight in Crash 2. I can see what you're saying by that. that was, I remember that being a hard boss fight for me too when I was younger. Let's get some more health. Let's finish this guy off. We only got a couple more hits. I'm sure he won't have any other forms or anything, right guys? They'd never do something like that. Come on, do it. Oh, he hit me. Oh well. I'll hit him back. SpongeBob won't be winning that way. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Oh, that Jesus. Was a doozy. Oh, I can't Wait watch. a second, he's going so okay, fast. What the heck? Maybe I. Okay, then I jump back. Okay. You can't outrun it, you just have to. Jesus, he still got me though. Okay, you gotta, you can't go back too quickly. Now I really gotta be careful because there's no more health and I have one hit left. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, he's going too fast. He's going too fast. Oh, please. Oh, please. There we go. Come on. Boom. Oh! Okay. No, you don't are destroying my beautiful bride. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, well. Oh, I'm shrieking. No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger. Help. How does a robot get bigger? That doesn't make sense. It's inorganic. I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. That Squidward just says, yeah, I'm going to head out. Squidward just did the SpongeBob meme. Yeah, okay, I remembered being inside of the robot. I knew I wasn't crazy. I like how instead of just having the inside of the robot be way bigger without explaining it, they actually said it. Because most games would just not even say anything. Wait. Ah. Well, I'm dead. It's okay, that's a checkpoint. I only had one hit left anyway, so that's probably for the best. Just met the 
There he is. Well, I think we need to hit him to make the platform appear. Or maybe not. Maybe it just didn't wait long enough. We're destroying the fuses. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Oh, there's platforms down here, okay. Oh, never mind. Apparently you weren't supposed to go down there. Not how you're supposed to do that, but uh, when has Plankton ever tried to kill SpongeBob? Uh, good question. Well, this is Robot Plankton, first of all. Big difference. You know, that's like saying Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla are the same. But uh. I mean, I guess if Spongebob gets in the way of Plankton's, you know, his goals, then, you know, killing is an option. Ooh. Oh, this is not as simple as it looks. That one ought to get it. Yup. Okay. Now do we... Look how there's a robot plankton. It's ridiculous. And he's giant too. Like he's small. Way smaller than the other robots. But he's like giant for plankton size. It's pretty funny. Oh god, they're gonna hit me, they're gonna hit me, they're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me, they're gonna hit me. Oh, they almost hit me. They were very close to hitting me. Isn't that the real plankton? No, no, no. That's robot plankton. You see, plankton was confused why the robots weren't obeying him. And it's because they were obeying robot plankton the whole time. Watch, when I get closer up, you can see he's a robot. See his antenna? Uh... Look, we have to utilize all the abilities we've gained throughout the, the course of the game. You know, it's interesting, we got a golden spatula for beating the first form. Just look at Spongebob's face. I think I missed something, did I? Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, that's right, I remember doing this. This was the part I remembered the most from this boss fight. I was like waiting for it. I think that's his brain. It's like when you fight the frog in inside of the frog in Yoshi's Island. Yeah, there should be one more opening, I think. Coming at ya. Oh, we did it. Uh, 
I like how he grows the anchor arms and then does he even use them? Ignore the fireworks happening outside. We did it. What do you do? What? What do you do? Yeah. All my plans ruined. That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and they will see. Uh oh. What? I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. <laughs> Why do they keep oh, yeah. making more? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot. Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college. You overdrive zombie grinder. I went to community college. I'll show you. Come here and fight like a bottle. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did. Next time I'll get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest Is this the, the you didn't 100% the game speech? Was this a Kirby game the whole time? Primalism says this game's basically all SpongeBob references crammed into a game, which kind of kills it for me. Like the anchor arms right there. Oh! Oh, we gotta play the credits. I forgot about this. All right, well, that was that was the end of it. I'll, I'll probably try out the um the multiplayer mode before I finish up. All these are only worth one. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little area for it being the end credits. Because this is not anywhere else in the game. Well, I could probably 100% this game. I don't think it would be too difficult. The, the challenging part would probably be finding all of Patrick's socks. I don't even have half of the the shiny objects needed to get into the movie theater. Because you need like 40,000 to get in there, I think. Uh, Primalism says, think about the South Park games. There's unique jokes that aren't directly taken from episodes that can stand on their own. There's definitely a lot of references in this. But, I don't know. I, the, I don't think the game's like, jokes, and th this game's jokes are really the strong point of it. It's just kind of a fun game to play and like the levels, the, the fun levels are fun and stuff like that. Like whereas the South Park games, it's like a lot of it is about the humor. You know, it's not like, there isn't really anything in this game that makes me laugh out loud or anything, but it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, there's a couple of things that are fun. Funny. Like, I like the idea that Plankton made an army of robots, but he had a lever set to don't obey instead of obey. And that was his one mistake. That's pretty funny. And then when he, he got to where he could fix it, instead of flipping the, the lever, he just put a sticker on the don't obey so it said obey. I mean, stuff like that's funny.
And there's only a hundred golden spatulas, I think. So we're already, you know, 77% the way there. We're just gonna get all the shiny objects, apparently. Has anyone played the multiplayer mode yet? Because I'll probably try that out after the credits end. Oh, there's still shiny objects up there. I mean, this is a fun game overall. Like I said, I, I probably would still prefer if it was like $20. But... I'd say... Um, it's a fun game. It, it wasn't just something they, they sloppily threw together. I feel like, you know, they actually put work into it. It looks nice. The game feels very similar to the original. Save for some things here and there. In before a secret final sock in this credit sequence. Maybe. Maybe I need to get all the shiny objects and I just haven't really been focusing on that. Because they sure give you enough time to get all of them. How the heck do you get this one? Oh, there we go. I just realized they aren't puzzle pieces. Yeah, they're not puzzle pieces, they're shiny objects. They're basically, uh, if you're ever watching an episode of Spongebob, they have things that are shaped like that just in the background a lot. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. And it's funny because like I didn't know what they were exactly either. So the fact they just call it shiny objects is actually kind of funny. Because they're not even telling you what it is. It's just, oh, it's a shiny object. I need to find a way up here. There we go. Oh wait, I thought there was some up there I missed. Maybe it was another platform. I thought those were corals. I kind of thought they were corals too. But uh... There's a bunch? How did I miss these? I'd like it if they had a counter for how many shiny objects there are left and how many you've grabbed already. Then you'd have like a little goal to do here instead of just just collect them for the sake of collecting them. All right. Hmm. Where else could they be? Oh, something up there. Is that the last one? Uh, I don't see any others. They also look a bit like the flowers used in Lay's. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, there's lots of Hawaiian aspect to this. So fun fact, if I haven't said this already, uh, my favorite band that's still alive and together is, is Ween. And Ween did the Tie Your Shoes song for Spongebob, which was like one of the oldest episodes. And the reason why they did that is because the show's creator was actually a fan of Ween. And they, they actually drew inspiration from Ween's album, The Mollusk, when they were making Spongebob. So... There's a little fun fact for you guys out there. And then most people would know already that they used the Ween song Ocean Man in the Spongebob movie credits, which is kind of another cool little thing. I think that's all the shiny objects. I'm 
Not sure where I would have missed any. Oh, I can leave at any time. I just realized there's a leave button. Well, the credits got to be running out soon at this point. Uh, it's like Devil May Cry, kill enough enemies in the credits for bonus cutscene. Can you activate a race by going through the start post touching those checkered flags? I don't think so, I think it was just for aesthetics, but I could check it out. Credits might be looping. Oh, they've been looping? Okay, well, I guess we could leave now. Okay, well usually credits end, okay? I'm not used to that. I was focusing on rolling the ball, not looking at the credits. Alright, alright. Okay, um... Let's see. Okay, we, we got all the golden spatulas here. They're still socks. That's surprising. We're missing one there. Missing one there. Which one is that? Could you just teleport to that? Drain the lake. Oh, we haven't done that. It probably wouldn't be too difficult to 100% this game. I don't think I'll do it right now. Oh, you have to... Mr. Krabs is hoarding eight shiny objects. Sorry, eight golden spatulas that you have to buy from him? Jeez. And Patrick is also hoarding a lot. Well, let's go trade Patrick for the... For, for some golden spatulas, and then I guess I'll try the multiplayer mode. There he is. You can't go into his house, right? Oh, you can! How have I not been into Patrick's house yet? There's probably a sock in here. Aww. Look at the one picture in Patrick's house. Isn't that nice? He doesn't even have a picture of his parents. Oh, oh! I destroyed his couch, but we found a sock. So that's nice. Oh, and we got 30. That's just enough to get a, another golden spatula. We keep, like, these serendipitous timing for the collecting objects. It's like the second time. Wow, SpongeBob, you- Now they're back home! Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Hey, Maxi, what's up? Wow, SpongeBob. Now we just beat home. the game. And then I'm gonna try out the uh, multiplayer mode. So after I buy one more. Here's your item. Dude, we just got three golden back scratchers in a row. That's pretty epic. So we- oh wait a minute, wait a minute. So we're missing 20, but four of them are from Patrick, and 10 of them are from Mr. Crab. so that's 14. So we're actually really only missing 16, or sorry, six. We're only missing six golden spatulas from the actual levels, that's funny. So we really cleared them out pretty well. All right. All right, let's go to the multiplayer mode. Are you ready, kids? No, don't play the SpongeBob theme song. I don't want to get uh, blah, 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 blah. stop. Oh my god! I hope that doesn't copyright me. So wait a second. You can play as like Gary and Squidward. That's crazy. And Roboplankton. They just have me set as Sandy to start off with. Um, oh, but this is local multiplayer. Wait. Oh, the keyboard is one player and the controller is another player. So I'm gonna have to just try this myself at first, I guess. How do you attack? I might have to use Mr. Krabs. <laughs> That's so crazy! You can play as Mr. Krabs. He has a 
He has like a, as I call a rapier. One of those things. That's so cool that they actually put in that you can play as these other characters. Uh oh. How do you attack, Sandy? That's how you jump. Okay. It's like none of the buttons. Oh, yeah, my mic was muted. God, sorry. I don't know why I instinctively muted my mic, I think, when I was trying to stop the, uh... <laughs> when I was trying to stop the theme song. Yeah, this is- I can't do this. I gotta- I gotta start, like, an online random thing. I'm not used to playing, uh... Multiplayer, okay? Oh no, I quit the whole game! No! Uh, give me a second. Whoops. Uh... Loading back up. I thought I meant quit out of the, the mode. I'm a professional. Blah, 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 blah. No session found. No session found. Um. I'm gonna meet the game real quick while that's playing. Because that's literally just the SpongeBob theme song. Okay. So there is no online game going on at all right now. Which, this game is brand new, is that usual? I guess the servers have died, says Reg. Well, what if I host a public online game? You can still hear the game? Oh, well, you can hear my mic picking it up, probably. Oh, there's someone, look. Someone joined. And now I can un unmute the game. So this person, who I don't even know, is what did it say Cameron something they are on my stream right now and they, I don't even know if they know it and they're Gary so that's weird that I couldn't join any buddies but someone joined mine immediately I think they just went into the ocean and drowned Yeah, let's skip that. Is this guy okay? Can Gary actually attack? Oh, he can. He has a frying pan. That's kind of funny. That's like Conquer, uh, Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fruit. He uses a frying pan. Too bad there's no like uh, emotes you could do.
So unfortunately, SpongeBob doesn't have his other powers, but I guess that's fair. Whoops, I died. Am I out of the game completely now? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm not. Um... What was I gonna say? I don't remember. This is a little mind-numbing, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not big on just like... You know, gauntlets of tons of enemies. I, like, I thought we were actually gonna fight the Squidward robot. Maybe we have to get to that part. Maybe we have to earn it. This game should have the Team Fortress 2 medic command to spam. Oh, I died. I didn't realize. Okay, so they start the wave over if you die. I guess that's nice. Instead of just ending the game there, like most of these types of games probably would. How did I die? Didn't I have full health? I'm very confused right now what killed me. Or am I on the right side? I'm confused. I thought my health was would be on the left side. Well, at least I wasn't the only one to fall into the ocean. Yep, that is my health on the right. That, that's so weird. They're gonna have to change Gary's name to Carrie at this rate. Well, listen here, buddy. Who's got more shiny objects, huh? Yeah. Sandy would be OP with her rope. And I'm guessing she has to be able to use it because she can't ground pound. I thought that was going to bounce me. Did we get to fight the robot? That's what I really, really want to do. I don't think he knows what we're doing either. <laughs> This might be his first time playing as well. Or her. When I hear Cameron, I think of the character from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, there's more enemies down there. That, that, this is kind of a weird placement, because you have that platform up there. Oh, I guess it's just so they could spread out more. Oh, I died. Well, I don't know, maybe this is more fun if you're playing with friends and there's like a few of you. It's okay, I guess. It's just not really my type of thing. I think at this rate, I, I definitely would have preferred if they just had a Squidward boss fight in the main story mode. Alright, are we just gonna fight him now? No, I guess that was just the end of it. It's only two players? Oh, it looks like you could fit four on the screen. That's weird.
Um, it's not letting me continue. It's like I'm stuck right here. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Uh, is that it? I guess that's it, huh? Let me mute the game again. Um, well, the multiplayer is a little lackluster for me, personally. Uh, you should be allowed to attack the robot at the end of each island, like destroying one tentacle per island until you finally destroyed it. Exactly, that would have been a lot better. Just being able to hit the Squidward robot would have made it more satisfying. No, we didn't even fight it. I was like, I thought that was like the whole point of why they added it in. It seems, that seemed like it was just kind of slapped together. I'll be honest. I was really expecting the multiplayer mode to be a bit more um, extensive than that. That was kind of weird. Yeah, they really didn't finish that. Um, well, I could still play a bit longer. I guess we could just collect some more. Because I was hoping the multiplayer would be something I could play for a bit more, but I don't really think I'll be playing that much more, so. All right, so we need Patrick for this part, I think. Tell me you haven't. Of course. Oh, good. All right. Did you get the golden spatula back from the robots on the island? Oh, um. So I think I need to stun them and then throw them. Yeah, okay. That's what we have to do here. I think last time I actually went all the way to the spawner with Spongebob and just destroyed it. Like, you're clearly not supposed to go back there. So I wasn't able to, uh, complete this last time. There we go. That was a quick golden spatula. The only thing though are the, the missing socks. That's gonna be tough. I might have to like use a guide for that. I mean, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just getting some extra golden spatulas. Since, uh... Hey, I might be able to get all the, the uh, level golden spatulas actually, because that one's all cleared out. This one, we're just missing one. Come back with the cruise. That's right, I remember that. I like how they just straight up tell tell you. Okay, so now we have this, and now there's, there's like a button or something we gotta hit, I think. If I remember correctly. Maybe we don't use it right there. We gotta use it somewhere. Yeah, Patrick destroyed the ecosystem of jellyfish fields by lowering the water. He had to though, he had no choice. Okay, we need to find out what we're supposed to do with this. Maybe it's on the other side. Whoops. You know what? I should use my bubble bowling. Like this. It bounced off. Oh, it hit him. Did you see that ricochet? That was awesome. Alright, so right here, I'm guessing. Oh, or is it here? Nope. Okay. I think it's right here. Oh, wait, wait. These weren't here before. Okay.
Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, you gotta go in here, probably. Maybe? Look, we're gonna keep guessing until we figure it out. I don't see any buttons in there, though. It's very... Oh, there's a button over there! I see it now. I was on the wrong side. There we go. Ooh, how do I get there though? Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to use Sandy there to reach the sock, it looks like. I didn't even notice that Texas thing. No, this is the downtown Bikini Bottom level, but it's we're in the Sky Needle section. Or uh, the Sea Needle, I think they call it in this. I was just going to like the different levels and finishing up the Golden Spatulas I missed. So there we go, that's all the golden spatulas in this section now. Look at that. Boom. And we only have four more left, I think. We might just do that. We got all the ones in here. We're missing one from here that we... Oh, and we're missing two, actually. Connect the towers. Oh, that one was annoying. But let me check all the... We got all here. We're actually missing three here. Maybe there's more than a hundred, actually. We're missing none there. Hang on, let me count this up. So one here. Two, three, four. Five, six. That's six in the levels. Four here, that's 10. And then 10 here. So we're missing, oh no, that's eight. 18. And we have 82. Oh no, yep, that's 100. Okay. I was going crazy for a second. Uh, uh, Good Lagoon is kind of... Let's do the Flying Dutchman, Dutchman more. We didn't really... I don't think we explored the whole level. I think there's a, a Flying Dutchman boss fight if I remember, so maybe we could do that and that would be a good way to finish up the stream. No, oh, this is Patrick. I can see why they save those robots for the last. They're probably the most annoying. Oh, wait, they wanted us to go this way? Considering we're missing three spatulas from this level still, it makes me think there's like a section we haven't been to yet. Jesus! Yeah, we were supposed to get up to the robot ship. 
so we probably need to start going in that direction. Oh, we never went in. Oh, that's right. This is it. This is the section we haven't been to yet. Because we took the box back. That's right. Okay. All right, so this will be a good way to wrap it up. Probably. Wait, which way to... Oh, that's how you go back home. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Aye, 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 aye. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is! Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons. Cannon do, miss. All right. Seems simple enough. I guess this is technically the last level of the game, like, not counting the final boss. So. Number one on the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. I thank you. I'm gonna take this guy out from back here because I don't want to deal with him. This really reminds me of uh, of Rayman 2, Razorbeard's ship. If anyone out there's, you know, I actually want to stream Rayman 2, and I actually got it on a deal on GOG that website. I I only paid like two bucks for it, but I'm having troubles trying to use OBS with the game, unfortunately. Or else I probably would have started streaming it already. So I need to look into that ways to fix that. Trying to destroy those. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Hey Kiko. Kiko says, Jay, I've been waiting for my fat cells for 30 minutes. Uh-oh. Nobody makes Kiko wait for his fat salads for 30 minutes. Well, that's weird. You use SpongeBob to make that go up there. But then there's a lasso's for Sandy. Huh. 45 minutes. Okay, that's pushing it. Fresh like a spring breeze. What did you get from Fat Cells? I still need a, to eat there. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, see, this comes up for Sandy. So how am I supposed to... Say hello to my little bubble friend. Whoops. Oh. Wait. No. Ah, we'll figure it out. Oh, well, we destroyed all those, at least. I would love a Rayman stream. Yeah, it, it's Rayman 2, which is, is kind of different from the first one, but that's the one that I grew up on, so I'd, I'd be down to stream it. All the characters speak in like this, like, French gibberish. Not that saying that French is gibberish, but it's like... Look, you just have to take my word for it. Oh, you know what? I probably have to come back here and then use the cannon like Mr. Krabs said and then Sandy will be able to go up there. That's my guess and I'm sticking to it. Do I talk to Mr. Krabs?
Rayman 1 requires 100% completion. It's beyond Jay's ability. Hey, I wouldn't say that's beyond my ability. I've 100%ed, you know, several Rayman. games on stream Have at this point. All the cannons on the Dutchman ship. All the cannons? That's the only dang cannon I've seen so far. Is there, there's one up there, but I can't reach it. Can we get up? Oh, maybe this way. Oh, never mind. You cannot climb up that. And it's a hand press button, so you can't use the missile. Okay, so you need to get... Sandy needs to get up there. So do I, do I just pull and then quickly, whoops. Cause you need to bowl to make the, the uh, crow's nest or whatever it's called go down. But Sandy can't bowl. So, I don't know. There must be something I'm missing. Does Sandy ever almost drown on the show? Yeah, kind of. Because there's this episode where Sandy and the rest of them are arguing who's better, sea critters or land critters. And they're challenging each other to things. And one of the challenges they give Sandy is to breathe underwater. See, look, I need to get Sandy up here. Oh, wait until it hits the fan, okay. I thought maybe it was hitting the fan. Okay, that's a good point. Maybe it's despawning. Maybe I just wasn't hitting it right at all. Ah. Oh. The fact they bounce doesn't really help. Well, what the heck? That's like a direct hit. There we go. It takes a bit though. Oh, you know what? It's it's not a timer. You just have to get on it, I think. Okay. Well, that explains that. Whoops. Thank you for that suggestion. I was just thinking maybe there was something else I was missing. Look, they even got a, a bus changer up here, too. We need to get over there with uh, Sandy first, though. Yeah, it's not the fairest, Kiko, but look, they had to make their point about sea critters being the most powerful critter. Look, in the end, they all realized the lesson is that, you know, sometimes, you know, sea critters are good at some things. Land critters are good at some things. You know, not everyone's perfect. Or, or rather, nobody's perfect. 
Not everyone's perfect. That just sounds... condescending. I was randomly looking up hybrid animals the other day and I discovered there are whale, dolphin, cross breeds, wolfins. I did not know about that. That sounds crazy. Oh, another golden spatula. Okay, sure. I will take two golden spatulas in a row. Why not? So we're just missing one now, which I think. Oh, we need to destroy the ship first, probably. Uh. And then we'll go back to the Flying Dutchman, and I believe, I believe we'll do a boss fight with him if I remember correctly. Why is he gonna boss fight us after we just helped him? Beats me, but I guess we'll find out. They just look like big boy dolphins. Uh -oh. It reminds me of my first Barry trip. But what about our deal? Ha! Never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1870. I thought I was going to say, don't make a deal with a pirate. I'll tell you nothing means creamy hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff. Butter so boy? Not like sea weasel. Sea weasel? Fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. Oh, guess we're Sandy. All right, this will be a good way to end the stream. One final boss fight. Phase one, lasso the tail. Oh, I'm glad. Whoa, that's kind of cool. That's like some Dio ish right there. Oh, that was probably my chance to lasso the tail. There we go. Okay, better. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I don't know. Like I was waiting for him to materialize, and he was just nope. We're doing pretty good fighting a, a pirate ghost. I like this boss fight music way better than what they were using on the that multiplayer mode. I don't know, even the music just felt a little unfitting. Maybe they'll improve it later, I don't know. Man, when are you gonna make yourself vulnerable so I can lasso your tail? Well, that's cute. Achievement unlocked Shanghai. Here's the golden spatula. 
Wait, wait, didn't it say phase one, last of the tail? I thought there was gonna be more phases. All right, well, I guess that was it. A very simple boss fight. Hey, 85 spatulas out of 100, that ain't bad. That's a solid B. And we have like almost all the golden spatulas in the levels. We're just missing two here. And where else? One here. Not bad, I think that's a good way, good place to finish it up. Let's go on home. Let's finish things up in Squidward. No, let's finish things up here. So everyone could have the best visual to fall asleep to tonight. Oh, wait, wait, what the? Guys. Guys, look. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I was playing in Sandy last, so when I t teleported here to Sandy's tree dome, now there's two Sandys. I'm surprised that the models are like about the same size. Usually when stuff like this happens, it's like really off. What happens when I talk to her? It's not letting me. I'm trying to talk and it just ain't working. Which one's the real Sandy? I was playing as the robot Sandy the whole time. I wonder if you could be Patrick in here. Yeah, this is a funny glitch. Okay. Hang on. Uh... So we'll go to Bikini Bottom. Alright, well there's another glitch for the glitch list. If you're... I don't know if it's specifically this, but if you're in the Flying Dutchman's level as Sandy... And then you teleport to Sandy's Tree Dome. There's two Sandys. I think we need to go outside and then we'll become Spongebob. Hopefully. There we go. Everything's all better. Alright, let's go back. To what I originally intended. There we go. We'll just end on this very chill image. Imagine this walking towards you. Hey kid. It's me, SpongeBob. I don't want to hurt you. I promise. If I saw this guy tiptoeing through the park, I would call the police. This is just disturbing. Look at this. Oh my god. You don't like that, Kiko? Why not? What's wrong with it? it it's pretty horrific. The fact that it's like in HD too. It's it's it, but it's faithful to the show because SpongeBob can't go into Sandy's tree dome without drying up like this. Although they learned that he could just you know use a water helmet. So I don't know why they didn't put a water helmet on him in this. I guess. This is Sandy's treadmill to keep in shape. Which is weird, because she's not a hamster, she's a squirrel. So I'm not sure why they use a hamster wheel. I have stream quality at 144p and it's still scary. Stop your yapping and well anyways, <laughs> this was a fun game. The, the multiplayer mode was a little lackluster, or well, it was like very lackluster for me, but the main game's still fun. Pretty good, it works for the most part pretty well. And uh, yeah, it's a cool game. All right, I'm sh I, I don't know, I'm, I might like 100% this game eventually, like on my own time, but uh, I had fun overall. Still, still a good game. I'd give it a solid like, I'd give it like, a, I don't know, like a 7.5 out of 10 probably and if you have nostalgia factor with it that probably adds on it for you but anyways uh let's get out of here actually anyways 
it's Friday night, which means everybody needs to needs to uh, go get their fat cells. I know I'm hungry. I wish I had a fat cells near me to buy from. Uh, so we finished this game. So I'll probably get back to Paper Mario next time, probably tomorrow. And I'm doing my favorite Paper Mario chapter too next, so pretty hyped for that. So yeah, you guys have a, a good old Friday. The weekend is here. Hell yeah. Thanks for joining everyone as usual. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.